floating round the bend through the rainbow's end return to forever Essentially the vanguard was created without even us making it, it happened itself. It was the universe, you know. I loved it instantly. As soon as I heard that, it just sent me on a path. Like I was like, what do these guys do? I want to do it. I started writing raps. Once I started writing raps, I was just, my mind, everything else in my life just took a back seat. I was a rapper. I've always been a writer and loving the hip hop I was listening to and their expression. Man, he taught me my real b-boy foundations alongside my cousin Eric and it wasn't long man 12 years old I was busting head spins. My name is Bids. This is Blessings in Disguise Studios named after myself. My name? Shit. It came from Graph originally. It came from throwing it up on walls. But in the end it ended up as an acronym Blessings in Disguise and that's how it is. Maybe beyond a genius of all. Ripping the Pantheon Vanguard, birthed up your way, or away from Banks your grave. I was working in Christmas Island Detention Center. Not by choice, it just happened that I went there to teach them hip hop. It didn't pull through, didn't get the government grant. So, ran into an old friend. We were, we were homeless, mind you. And um, an old friend, Chris Sue. Yo, fucking saved our lives, hooked us up a job in the detention center as recreation officers teaching detainees from well, detainees when I was teaching there just the name Beyond kept on coming to me and specifically a movie called From Beyond Stuart Gordon if you don't know created Reanimator Herbert West reanimating dead flesh uh, the movie From Beyond is about a machine that taps into the pineal gland resonates on a frequency that opens up portals and allows creatures from another realm to step through. My name's Leonidas, aka the Omen King. Leonidas was the king of Sparta in about 500 BC. Regardless of whether he would win or lose, he fought out of moral, not logic. Metaphorically to me, that represented a lot of being an artist. Regardless of whether it's worth it or not, I choose to fight for what I believe in. Leonidas represented how I felt as an artist and therefore that became the name. I go by the name of Sanguo King, uh, from the northern suburbs of Perth, Mount Lawley, Morley, Bayswater, Maylands, from Perth, WA, Australia, representing the Pantheon Vanguard. Well, the name came about, essentially it was a group of very versatile individuals, um, all with unique styles and representing more than one element, generally three, if not all four. By definition, Pantheon being a collective of gods and Vanguard being an intellectual movement or military forefront. Essentially, that's what we felt we represented. The name chose us. We look for other names, but it stuck Pantheon Vanguard. Uh, I was about 11 years old. I was at a mate's house and we were just uh, chilling and I was talking with this old man and out of nowhere, this old man, this Italian dude from Melbourne, Enzo, just bust that meals on the kitchen floor, <laughs> put up a clip, windmills, damn, I was in awe, I was like, what the fuck, never seen that before and I was just obsessed with it since, went home, told my mum, I was like, you heard of break dancing, mum, why don't you tell me about it, since so she had some old tapes as well, she had some old tapes of uh, Countdown had Rocksteady Crew on an up rock. I used to play that shit over and over and over. And slow mo that shit, analyze, break it down, and learn the moves. Then I got my hands on, got my hands on Beach Street and um, break dance rest of the videos. But it wasn't until I met B Boy Atomic D, dude from Japan, who was actually in Zulu Nation. Uh, he rocked, he met African band Bada, got dropped in Zulu Nation crew and uh, yeah man he taught me my real b-boy foundations eventually joined Systematic crew, the well known and perfect well established crew I respect and I joined Aero Salt crew and I'm still representing AA Around 9 or 10 and um, some dudes were playing a track and I was like what the fuck is this shit, it just sounded nuts Turned out it was Gravedigger 6 feet deep and 
the sound of that just blew my mind. It was just so, so from another dimension, it felt like. In class, the sooner like, I think it was in year nine, I was like, I don't need this shit. I'm gonna be a rapper. I'm gonna fuck. I don't give a fuck about school. When I was about 10, I started writing rap to be rapped, not just poems, not just poetry. Had one of those old karaoke machines with two tape decks and a couple of microphone inputs. Once I've recorded a, a, a beat that I found, I, I uh, rapped over it and from then, the rest is history, you know? Hip hop hotspot, Mount Lawley. Everyone I knew was either doing graffiti or smoking weed or... Everybody that was smoking weed, you were into graffiti. Practice graffiti as well. A lot of our time spent was wearing Foolishly enough, in that truancy, spawn freestyling. I'm a record fiend. I love the vinyl, the hardware. I didn't find making beats fun, clicking the mouse. Um, I think I tried that when I was 12 or 13, but that was before I was even into music. So when I got my hands on an MPC uh, in my late teens, that's, that's how it came about making the beats, yeah. Yeah, we big on our tools, man. All the vanguardsmen. We got our tools of the trade, MPCs. MPC, a weapon of choice. 3000s, 2000s. Excel. 2500s, MPC 60s, two Roger Lynn models, ASR 10s. Also rock the EPS. That's all you fucking need. Essentially, we all pride ourselves on knowledge and trying to be open-minded and versatile, man. Versatility is the spice of life, so. We're all trying to explore what's not there yet. Look up any one of us and you'll find a big path of music that you never heard before. Got this album dropping, Trip Through the Portal. Trip Through the Portal. Working on a project that's called Trip to the Portal. A trip through the astral planes, interdimensional thought. Channeling demons, drifting through the multiverse. We're going down the rabbit hole. Coming back out, saying some shit that might take you a while to get. Going back down, sometimes getting stuck. Getting lost for a while and bringing it into the rhyme trip through the portal that's what we're calling it we have ill with us who blends his text with drums we got beyond who lyrics coming from another dimension we got leonidas whose his form is perfection we've got bids who's, who's a mathematician when it comes comes to lyrics and comes to rap and he's, he's unorthodox and he's orthodox when he wants to be I like to consider myself a bit of a wordsmith. Pantheon Vanguard is different from the rest because of the sound of what we produce. Floating round the bend. This is Anglo King representing the Pantheon Vanguard. Chips of the portal coming to you soon. Beautiful.